Thank you for joining me on the Valder Beebe Show for that celebrity interview. This is where I find the most incredible people to show you life. And today I have one of the most incredible people. I have Oscar nominee George Siegel. Now you see him on this new show on TV Land, but you know he's got a film and television career credit that would blow your socks off. George Siegel, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. Well, thank you, Valder. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, I'm so excited that you have the time. You are so busy at this time with retired at 35. I know that keeps you busy. Tell us about your new TV Land show, and tell me if you thought you'd be doing TV as a regular gig. Well, that's a good question, because after Just Shoot Me, which was seven years, I figured, well, that's it for sitcom. But this is so funny. And, and you know, the sitcom's been in a kind of a decline. There aren't that many around. But this one, as you say, blew my socks off because it was so funny. So, so uh, uh, listen, on the first show tonight, our son, who comes back to live with us in this retirement community in Sarasota, Florida, uh, sleeps with his girlfriend's mother, unbeknownst to him, which is pretty cutting edge as far as I'm concerned, and certainly for 1030 at night. <laughs> It is. It really is. Well, even just the son coming to live with the parents, this is so uh, a cyclical that's actually happening in society, though. It is. With this economic downturn, everybody's doing the best they can to keep their heads above water, and this is one way to do it. But uh, it's something I couldn't imagine, but, but the, here it is happening. Well, could you imagine working with the wonderful Emmy? Emmy Excuse me, Emmy-nominated Jessica Walter. Oh, this, listen, she's got comic timing that, that doesn't quit. She's just fabulous. And we worked together way back like in 1967 or something in a movie called Bye Bye Braverman. And we were at each other then, and and then she played uh, Laura San Giacomo's mother in, in uh, Just Shoot Me, and we were at each other then. So b c coming at each other like this is old news for us, That's but it's it's so much fun. You made me remember her in Just Shoot Me. Well, you were such a presence on Just Shoot Me. We always look forward to seeing you come out and make your 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 statement or your <laughs> right right it's, you were yeah. very very good on that and you brought a lot of of who you are to even though you have a different character i see a lot of that in this character what allows you to to to, meta, to, to transfer who you are but people don't typecast you well that again is the is the writing and and then the actor is always surprised when he arrives that they get him. I, you know, you figure everybody thinks they're so unique and that nobody can really understand or get you, but they nail me every time. So, so. How is it? Uh, we've got you, we've got Betty White, we've got Jessica Walter, who are having a, either a, a, a very long je longevity in their career. How does that feel? Because did you think acting would be a career or did you just want to be a celebrity? What did you, what did you have set out for yourself? Uh, acting. Uh, it's, it's, it, it, I was the shyest kid in the world. I used to, my father was a salesman, and, and he would introduce me as a kid, and I would shake hands with my head down. I had a real shy problem, and obviously the way to conquer that is to get out on the stage and, 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 and force yourself. Like, like, like if you have a fear of heights, you become a paratrooper. So, so this was a lot like that, and then you get addicted to it where the only place you're comfortable is really on the stage. And I guess through life you try to bring those together in a kind of balance, which is what's been happening. So it makes me able to be able to talk to you. Well, thank you so much. And your life seems pretty balanced. How is it being called? Um, people are calling you iconic. I read some of the uh, uh, reviews on the show. The show's got great reviews. And they say, the iconic George Siegel. How does it feel when people put that, that burden or that title on you? Either one, I don't know. A little uncomfortable, but it's just attrition. It's just living that long. It's it's amazing to me to move into <laughs> geezer land. I, 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 and, and Betty White at her 89th birthday took exception to my, my, call, my calling us uh, geezers. Uh, uh, but that's what we are one way or another. But it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Well, we're just going to uh, uh, continue to watch you. Um, you know, you give us all hope and inspiration of, of having a quality life or a quality career, rather, because we've seen you do great work in film and in television, and you're still working. And I think that's what the American dream is about, being able to live your life pretty much on your own terms. Very well put, Valder. Thank you so much.
Well, thank you so much for being the great George Siegel and gracing the Valder Beebe Show. When can we watch you? Uh, 1030 uh, Wednesdays uh, night. Well, we'll, be, we'll be watching and we'll be laughing. Thank you so very much, George Siegel, for being on the Valder Beebe Show. I'm very honored. Thank you, Valder. Me too.